Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts, large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Yes, we are. Should you cause a disturbance, it is wise to leave the area. You've done well, Altair. And I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Perfect. The work of a master. That's my students. Is how we all should fight. You must be busy. I understand. What is he 
What's got him so bad? What's got into him? going to run into someone. Vigilantes you have freed to block your pursuit. Use the action view to gather information about your surroundings. any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured I won't forget it.
Ah, Altai. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Mualam has ordered the execution of Ganyet and Aprus, and so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospitality, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city. See what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather and I'll see what I can find. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There's an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafiq. It will be put to good use. See that it is. and your trials many know that God watches over you. It is his hand you that guides someone. our warriors to victory. First in Acre, soon in A plague Canada. upon Saladin. A plague upon his people. We Where could you come, brother? I could use that blade of yours. There are too many archers about. This makes it difficult for me to work. Kill them. All of them. And I might be able to assist you in your campaign against the mad doctor. Keep in mind, however, that you must do this without being seen. Should you be discovered, they'll sound the alarm and you'll be forced to try again. We must all do our part. Turned away from God. And so he punishes us. Sends hordes of heathen warriors to gather at our gates. But God is also merciful, and our hearts may be forgotten. Or and so I say to you, repent, lay down before him and confess your sins. He will forgive. Such is his nature. And beg forgiveness we must. Well done, Altair. With those archers dead, I can be about my business. Take this. It's some sort of work order for repairs to Garnier's hospital. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. upon his people. We came in peace to the Holy Land to spread the message of our Lord, but they turned away. They refused to accept him as their leader. These men hold the What's cut into him? Damn fool must be out of his mind. If it isn't Altair, remember me? No? I learned my craft at the same time as you. Still, no memories of me. Doesn't matter. Al Mualim has charged me with a mission that I am honored to perform. I must test you. What a pleasure. I have hidden flags in this area. Find them and return to me. Be quick. It is such a shame that the old man insisted that I must help you if you succeed. Yeah. <laughs> 
How odd. I'm impressed. Not enough to change my mind about you, but since Al Muelim commands, here is what I know about your next target. Garnier hides in the Hospitalier Fortress. Getting into the fortress will require cunning. That's all I have for you. What would cause him to run like that? What is he running for? A few coins, all right. You think he can take a chance? There are a few coins. Oh, be Please, be more careful. Is he but running from someone? Oh, my. Why must he run around? You hear about a lane? The archer who guards the eastern wing? Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I have family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. me he saw me he will kill me and my wife and children oh, what a mess have you come to end my misery no al mualim has more compassion than i thought could you help me then a knight of the hospitalier is after me if you could eliminate him you would do a fellow a real honor i've been here in Akka since the crusaders were laying siege i can give you important information in return What a fool. He's going to hurt someone, I know. No, please, don't leave my kids. Just a few coins, please. I beg of you, sir, I beg of you. Just a few coins, please. Hey, could you please not do that again? The family sick and dying. Could you spare a few coins? It is done. He's dead. Oh, I am extremely grateful. So, here is what I know about Garni de Naplouz, Grand Master of the Hospitalier. Garni lets his patients roam the halls of his fortress. No one, save scholars, may enter his personal workspace, and the rooftops are guarded by archers. I'm sure this information will help deliver Garni to the gates of hell. Oh, the 
to serve and save, but these things corn? take time. Please, sir, have any money? No, please, don't leave like this. Just a few coins, please. Do anything you want. You serve Gagne? He he makes me say these things to keep the people from revolting, to give them hope and make them eager for his touch. Tell me everything you can about the man. Y yes, of course. I, I know what happens with him, what he really does. Go on. Not sick, not wounded when they enter, but once he's got his hands on them, then the pain begins. He's no healer then. Just a sick, cruel man. I, I don't know what it is he does to make them cry so loud, but it must be stopped before more are made to suffer. Will you stop him? It's why you still live. He is cautious. You must pick the proper time. Go to him when he attends to the patients. He forgets the world around him, becomes lost in his work. Yes, strike then. I thank you for the information. Then you'll let me go? Would that I could. You were not allowed to be here. Leave. Ah, 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 ah,
She gone mad. What you got there? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of, just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? It's a waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. How fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me, then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Fear and doubt are 
the weapons of our enemies. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his squatters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You others. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. I'm so sorry. Have you people nothing better to do? Before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. 
Ah. But then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the Peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. Altair. Gagné is dead. Then you should return to Masayaf with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagné seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. the action view to gather information about your surroundings. Have you news for me, Altair? Gagné de Naplus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble, and looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them. And that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings, men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. 
This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a god, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace, then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen.